Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be looking at shapefile transparency. So we'll clear the previous selection and then we're going to get right into it. So uh, the transparency is to, let's say when you're producing the map finally, uh, you have to make it transparent so that you can be able to have the whole thing, the right tops and everything visible and well spelled out on the as it is now. Depending on the color you make it on a color ram or a color perfect, it may not bring out the right in the way it should. So the best thing to do is to have uh, a transparency. So you right click and you go to properties. So on properties you go to display and we have scale symbol when the reference scale is set. And then we also have the transparent. So let's say I put 30 and then I click on, you see that it's showing you some transparency. What if I put 50 and I apply? So the more you set this to what you want and you check your write-ups, you see that your write-up will come up very clear and it's going to be making the map look very interesting. So uh, you, how you maximize your, your uh, transparency tab determines the quality of what you get from it. So basically uh, you need to uh, maximize your your size, your percent of the transparency in collaboration with your coloring and all that so that you can have a better output result. So this is how to uh, make a shape file or a future file, future class transparent. So we'll see you in the next video where we'll pursue other things. Thank you. Um.